Let me put you on game Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you say Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame Let me put you on game The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes Everyone's going through something What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my handsome, and my powerful sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're going to pull from the chakra oracle, and we're going to see what spirit wants you to know, okay? So if anything resonates, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not. And also, Scorpio, if you want to read me or anything else you want to know about me, it will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpios, let's go. All right, so we have victim here, okay? So this victim has to do with love. So someone, Scorpio, that you could have been in a connection with or you had love for or something, like someone here is like trying to play the victim or someone here wants you to see them as the victim here, okay? Let's look at this victim card. Someone here is like blaming other people for like, everything that's gone wrong in their life okay but someone here is in denial okay this person has potential for greatness you know what i'm saying but this is someone who someone here needs to be honest with themselves like they need to make an honest assessment of a situation here okay so someone here can be in denial and this denial that they're in is like it's putting them in this victim mentality, okay? They're blaming other people for, you know, what's going on in their life or everything that has gone wrong. But really this denial and blaming everybody else is holding this person back, okay? Keeping them from moving forward. And this person needs to make an honest assessment, okay? So this could be someone in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? This could be someone in a marriage. And it's like, you know, they keep lying to themselves about shit. Tell themselves they happy. Tell themselves everything going to be all right. And that's a damn lie. Everything is not going to be all right. This, this person is not happy here, okay? And it's like putting them in this victim mentality here, okay? But someone here needs to, like, take this neutral position, okay? Someone here needs to allow things to unfold naturally here okay so someone here needs to take a closer look at a situation okay and once they take a close closer look versus trying to force some things like allow things to unfold naturally okay i feel like this is someone that's going to be guided in a situation okay because we have mysticism okay so i feel like someone here is going to be guided like the spirit is going to be guiding someone this also talks about intuition okay so it's like intuitively whoever this is this one to play this victim or, or 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 make you feel like Scorpio that they're a victim and they're blaming other people for everything that's gone wrong versus pointing their finger at their damn self, okay, and realizing that it's their fault that they're in this situation because someone here could be like choosing to be stuck in a situation only because they're in denial, okay? Somebody been lying to themselves this whole time telling themselves, yeah, I'm happy, yeah, this is good, okay, this could be about a job, this could be about work, I mean a job and work, this could be about love, you know what I'm saying, this could be about a relationship, this could be anything, but whoever this is, it's like making them be in this victim mentality, like they're falling victim to their own shit, and this is somebody like, they're in two, remember I said, this is someone who has they have potential to be great, okay? This is someone who I feel like also have spiritual gifts as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not really into the spiritual realm. I feel like the intuition is trying to guide them, though. Like, you know, they've been trying to figure out, like, what is what is this voice inside of me that's telling me to do these things? You know what I'm saying? But this is someone who I feel like they've been people-pleasing. Like, this is someone that's been trying to make everybody else happy. And ain't nobody happy, you know what I'm saying? Look at this balance. Yeah, somebody here been chasing illusions. This is someone who hasn't been eating right. Okay, they, they've been neglecting themselves, their values. And they've been running towards something. Like someone here has been chasing somebody. 
It's like they're being deceived by their own desires. Okay, so somebody here has been desiring something, okay? I feel like desiring somebody. And it's like with this balance, like they've been trying to, I feel like, please other people. Or possibly what they've been doing is trying to please themselves, but they're not happy. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here is not happy in a situation. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to be neutral. They 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 don't want to like, you know, step on anybody's toes here. They've been trying to bring balance and please all these people, but you can't. You can't please all these people in your life. They're trying to bring balance. They think they have balance if they do what makes everyone or makes if they do things that make everyone around them happy, but it's not. Let's look. Who is this? Let's look at this. Let's see who this person is. Who is this victim, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpio. Who is this person that's like falling victim to their own shit is what I feel like. Because it's like somebody been out here people pleasing, okay? Somebody's ignoring their intuition. It's like they're remaining neutral. Like people could be telling someone here like, hey, you know, you need me to, you know, move around from such and such. And it's like they're refusing to see that shit because they keep telling themselves, ah, oh, but we happy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we good. Nah, you not good. <laughs> Tell us about victim, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about victim. Tell us about victim, Holy Spirit. Two of Swords. Yeah, this person is not coming. That hasn't made any movement. Some of you guys, this could be a Libra. This is someone who has never shared their feelings with you. Okay, this is someone who, who's been guarding their heart. Okay, so this is someone, Scorpio, I feel like they haven't made any moves, any movement towards you, period. You know what I'm saying? This is someone who I feel like when it comes to you, they guard their heart. But when it comes to everybody else, they try to people please. They try to do things to make everybody else around them happy. But when it comes to you, it's like they're not sharing their feelings. They're guarding their heart. Okay, but they're becoming victim to their own bullshit because it's like they're making themselves believe. Okay, so this could be someone that's in another situation, right? And it's like they're making themselves believe that they're happy with this person or whatever. Them and this person are having issues or whatever. Like they're going to be able to work this shit out and they ain't. Okay, and this is what's keeping this person from coming towards you. It's because like they're, they're falling victim to their own shit. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. So you could be dealing with the Libra. It doesn't have to be. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about the two of fours. Why isn't this person coming towards Scorpio? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Why isn't this person coming towards Scorpio? Because you're dealing with the King of Wands, okay? This player, this person that's in and out, okay? This could have been a very passionate lover when you was dealing with him. You know what I'm saying? This is a very passionate man, a very passionate woman, okay? But this is someone, like I said, they don't have the will parallel. They lack something in their life. This is someone, like I said, they can be, like I said, remember I said this person has potential, to be great, okay? This person has potential to be very loyal. This person has potential to be a strong provider, whether it's male or female, you know, but this person, they can't be that because it's like they're too busy, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're in this King of Wands energy. They're, they're too busy being in and out. They can't be consistent. They can't give you that consistency because they're refusing this necessary change, okay? This King of Wands needs to change when it's King of Wands to an emperor. Okay, but this person is resisting that change because, like I said, they're falling deep into their own bullshit. They're believing that they're happy. They're believing that they're content, and they're not. Tell us about balance, Holy Spirit. Now, tell us about death, Holy Spirit. What is this necessary change? What is this change that this person needs to make? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about this necessary change. I feel like this is someone that needs to transform their life inside out, Scorpio. From beginning to the end, page of cups. So this change that they're, they're holding on to is like not expressing their feelings. That's a necessary change because this is someone who has not been opening up, okay? So someone here needs to open up in order to, I feel like, bring balance to this situation. You know what I'm saying? But they can't do that. They can't open up to you. They can't come towards you because they're too busy trying to people please everybody else, okay? This is someone who has fell victim to their own bullshit, okay? This is someone who also has possibly lost hope and love, okay? So maybe this is why this person 
hasn't been able to open up to you as well because they kind of lost hope. Like this person was like, man, I don't want to open up to Scorpio and express my feelings and tell them how I feel. Then Scorpio will be looking at me like I got shit on my face or something. You know what I'm saying? Like this person don't want to go through that because they're already being heartbroken at some point in time. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces here. It doesn't have to be. And this is someone that has a lot of responsibilities, okay? They're overwhelmed. They're overworked, okay? This could be someone, like, they're working a lot. Or it's like, whatever that they're doing, they just can't keep carrying on whatever that they've been doing, okay? With lying to themselves, playing victim and shit, they can't keep doing this shit, okay? This is someone that has to go through this transformation, okay? This, some, this is someone who has to go through this change in order for things to be, get back balanced in their life, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Sag. We got Sag, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, and a Libra, okay? So let's see who this reading is about. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? We got Pisces, Leo, Cancer, Sag. Everybody I just see. Okay, Scorpio, Capricorn. Heavy Capricorn, Scorpio, and Libra. And then we have Libra, Capricorn, no. Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, and Aries. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.